Edward Taylor, The Father of the Hydrogen Bomb by Murray John. He was born in Hungary on January the 15th, 1908. His mother was a pianist and his father was an attorney. He left Hungary in 1926 to go to a German university. When he was a young student, his right foot was cut off in a tram accident. For the rest of his life, he had to wear a fake foot and he walked with a limp. He was very clever and he got a degree in chemistry and a PhD, which means he was a doctor in physics. In February 1934, he married his girlfriend, Mitzi. In 1935, they moved to America. World War II. There was a top secret project called the Manhattan Project. Its job was to make the most devastating weapon the world had ever seen, the nuclear bomb. The Allies had gathered the most brilliant minds together in a place called Los Alamos in New Mexico, America. Taylor worked on a part of the bomb called the implosion mechan mechanism, which helped the nuclear bomb explode. On August the 6th, 1945, this aircraft called the Enola Gage dropped the first nuclear bomb. The city of, of Hiroshima was destroyed by a single atomic bomb. A quarter of a million people were killed. After a second bomb was dropped on the city of Nagasaki, Japan surrendered and the Second World War was over. Although the atomic bomb was very powerful, Edward Teller became obsessed with building a bomb 100 times more powerful. He called this weapon the super. The rest of the world would call it the hydrogen bomb. When a hydrogen bomb explodes, the temperature is hotter than the surface of the sun. The small circle in the middle of the picture shows the total destruction area of the atomic bomb. The large circle in the picture shows the total destruction area of a hydrogen bomb. The impact of countries having these weapons is that no country can risk attacking another country with nuclear weapons because both countries would destroy each other. This is known as mutually assured destruction or mad for short. Because of Edward Teller's invention, nuclear bombs are too powerful to be used. Because of this, no more nuclear bombs have been used since the end of the Second World War. <laughs>